In this video, we're going to show you how to zinc plate using our Kateros plating kits. In our zinc electroplating kits, you will find goggles, a dust mask, current controller, four bags of electrolyte salts, clear passivate and yellow passivate, wire, makeup solution, maintenance solution, zinc anodes, copper wire, crocodile clips and a set of the instructions. The next job is to attach some short length copper wire to the anodes. About 6 inches long. Threading through the pre-drilled hole and twisting tight to secure in place. Next, hang the three anodes off the side of the tank using the wire to hook over the side. Evenly space around the tank with the top of the anodes about one inch from the top of the tank. Next, loop the copper wire around the top of the tank, twisting to secure in place. To this ring of wire, attach the copper wire holding the anodes in place. Pour in 4 litres of warm distilled or deionized water. Now put on your rubber gloves, goggles and dust mask. Add the bag of ammonium chloride. Then add one bag of zinc chloride and stir well until fully dissolved. Now add half a bottle of Hyperbrite makeup solution, that's about 130 milliliters, and stir well. Then add four capfuls of Hyperbrite maintenance solution and stir. Construct the current controller as shown. Now, attach one end of the brown wire to the looped copper wire that's attached to the anodes. The other end of the copper wire attaches to one end of the current controller. For this demonstration, we're using a cheap 6 amps battery charger. Attach the positive output from the battery charger to the other end of the current controller. For the tank bar, we're using a piece of copper pipe. Place the tank bar over the top of the tank, taking care not to touch the wire from the anodes. Now attach the negative output from the battery charger to the tank bar. To make the zinc plating more even, we use air agitation and for this demonstration we're using one of our air agitation pumps. Try to make sure that the bubbles rise from under the item you're plating. We've cleaned and pickled a nut, ready for plating. Hook the item onto a short piece of copper wire. Hang the item to be plated onto the tank bar. And then after about a minute, remove the item to see if plating has started. As you can see here. Normally we'd leave plating for about 30 minutes. Look how quickly plating starts. This shows how the item should look after a 30 minute plate. I just want to show you what to look for when checking the current settings. When the current setting is too low, there will be no or little plating on the item after a minute. The item should just start to be covered with an even layer of zinc after about a minute. If the current is too high, you will see black staining on the high current density areas. 